Hey everybody, if you're just getting started with running tracks, the easiest software to run your tracks is the Loop Community Prime app. We created Prime to be an easy way for worship leaders to have all of the features they need for running tracks in worship. I'm gonna show you how to customize your arrangement, change the key, change the tempo, and just really dive into Prime. Prime is also completely free. It's available in the Mac or iOS app stores, so you can run Prime on a Mac computer, on your iPhone, or your iPad. So let's dive in to how to get started with Prime. So before we jump into the Prime app, we need to actually get our tracks. So if you go to loopcommunity.com, sign up for a free account, and then start browsing for the tracks you want. So I'm gonna search for the track Living Hope, and you'll see we have all of these different versions of Living Hope, but I want the Phil Wickham version, so I'm gonna come here. Then you'll see the different track types. We have master tracks that are the original tracks from the album, but I'm gonna come here and click the Loop Community tracks for the album. So there's three purchase options. And if you're using the Prime app, you wanna click the in-app only version. This will allow you to customize the tracks that you're using in Prime, and you'll have the tracks immediately as soon as you purchase them in the app. Click add to cart and check out. So after you download Prime from the app store, you wanna make sure you log in with the same account that you used on loopcommunity.com. Once you do, you'll come to a screen like this, and you just click add song to see a list of all of the tracks in your account. Search for the track you want, Here's Living Hope that I just purchased. And you click the song and click original and it'll download to your set list. One of the great things about Prime is you actually don't need to be connected to the internet after you download the tracks. So if your church doesn't have internet, you don't have to worry about it. Just download the tracks at home or somewhere else before the service. So once you have a track downloaded, you'll actually see all of the different parts of the track. You have all of the instruments over here where you can actually adjust the volume of the acoustic guitar, for example, or your background vocals. And then you can also turn tracks on and off by clicking right here. Down here, you'll see where you can play the tracks, stop them, go to the next song in your set list. You can also change the tempo and the key. Let's look at how easy it is to change the tempo and key inside of Prime. So if I'm playing my track right here, you'll hear the, all of the different instrument parts. And all I need to do to change the tempo is just click this plus symbol or this minus symbol. It's that easy to change the tempo. It's also that easy to change the key. So if I click right here, it'll change it to E or F, or I can go the other way. It's really easy and quick to change the key and tempo of your tracks. If you want to repeat a section, if you go into this turnaround and you decide you want to play it again, all you have to do is click this repeat button and it will highlight the section and repeat it so that you can go back to the beginning. You can also fade out your tracks. If you click this button, it will fade out all of the blue instruments but it will leave the clicking cues at the same volume. Click it again and it'll fade the tracks back in. The master fader will also only control the blue instrument tracks. This is really nice because if you're running your tracks and you wanna just lower the volume but keep the clicking cues volume the same, then you just adjust this fader right here. In Prime, all of the blue instrument faders are panned automatically to the right channel and the clicking cues are panned automatically to the left. It's easy to get started with routing your track audio in Prime. All you need is a stereo breakout cable. So you'll plug this into your headphone jack. And then, like I said, the tracks will automatically go to the right channel. That's gonna be red. Red is always right. And then your clicking cues will go to the left. You send both of these into direct boxes and then send the direct boxes with XLR cables to your soundboard and your in-ear monitor system. So now that we have our audio routed in Prime, there's a few things we can do to customize our set list. The first is editing arrangements. If we click edit right here and then edit arrangement, Prime allows you to easily change around the sections, delete or remove sections in the app so that you can have the track exactly how you want. So let's say I actually wanted to play a chorus right away at the beginning of the track. All I have to do is double click or double tap if you're on an iOS device and this box will appear for add a new section, click add, and now you have another chorus. Now to move it, all you do is drag and drop it at the beginning. Hit done, and all of the click and cues and instruments are automatically updated so that it counts in the chorus right at the beginning of the song. Chorus, two, three, four. Awesome. That's an easy way to customize your songs and have them how you want them. But if you wanna be spontaneous in worship, a big question we get asked is, how can I be spontaneous with tracks? In Prime, it's easy. So if you go to your settings in Prime in the top right, you'll see jump time. This is where you can set to when you can jump sections. 
If you click end of section, and then you select another section to jump to, it won't jump until the end of the section. That's the easiest way to use section jumping. So let's try that. If I have it on end of section, and I'm in this turnaround section, I'm gonna say, maybe let's skip verse two. If I decide to skip verse two, all I have to do is click the chorus and it will actually jump once I select it at the end of the section. You'll see the chorus highlights chorus, two, three, four. and it jumps right to it. It's that easy to be spontaneous with your tracks inside of Prime. Now let's add another track to our set list to look at how we can transition between songs. So click add song again and search for the track you want. Once you add it to the set list, you'll have your two tracks right here. So to add a transition, go to the first song that you wanna start in. And right here under flow, you can click different transition options. If you click the triangle once, you'll have what's called auto advance. So this means when it gets to the end of the song, it's going to advance to the next song. If you click it again, you'll have overlap. This shows the two bars here because the tracks will overlap on top of one another, but keep the volume the same. We're gonna use crossfade for this example. This transition allows you to crossfade the track out into the next track, which will fade it in. So let's listen. Four and two. You'll hear the crossfade four. start and the next track begin to count in when it gets to the end section of this Intro, song. Two, three, four. Awesome. That's an easy way to eliminate any awkward gaps in your set list inside of Prime. Also, if you want the transition to happen at a different time in the start or end section of your song, you can click the little drop down right here and actually change the start and end time to make them happen sooner and shorten the length of these sections. I can shorten the end section or shorten the start section so that they're only even one second long if you want. You can also edit the fade time right here. So let's last look at our Prime settings to see how we can customize a few different things in the app. If you want, you can change your cue sound to be either Meredith Andrews or Phil Wickham, or we have cues in Spanish and Portuguese available as well. You can also change your click sound to have a different metronome sound in your in-ears. Let's listen to how those sound together. Turn two, three, four. Awesome. If we go back to our Prime settings, you can turn dark mode on and off. This is nice if you don't want the light of Prime to be really bright on your stage. You can click that. You can also subdivide your click inside of Prime. It's a little easier for your band to follow along to if the click is subdivided and you can turn the click accent on or off. So that's a quick overview of using the Prime app by Loop Community. We hope that this makes it easy for you to use tracks in worship. You can download the Prime app in the Mac or iOS app stores for free today.